this report also makes the Chinese Communist Party elders told President Xi Jinping, according to this report, that the party could face unprecedented threat to its rule if this turmoil continues in China. So Xi Jinping clearly not in control of the situation. China's real estate sector, that's in a shambles. Youth unemployment rate is apparently so alarmingly high that China stopped putting out numbers. Trade is sluggish, foreign investment is declining. Another major worry for China, no breakthrough in trade talks with the United States of America or boundary talks with India. U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo, she traveled to China, but according, but according to analysts, no gifts for China from this visit. No concessions from India on border talks with China either. So Xi Jinping increasingly appears to be isolated and cornered. Chinese President Xi Jinping, in his third term, will give the G20 summit in New Delhi a miss. At the invitation of India, Premier of the State Council Li Xiang will attend the 18th G20 summit held in New Delhi. Instead, his next big global appearance would be the Belt and Road Forum in Beijing. This would also be his first absence from a G20 summit since taking charge in 2012. China is cornered on its own turf, as much as it is at the receiving end of the Western bloc led by the USA. Xi Jinping has a big economic crisis on his hands. In the summer of 2023, graduating Chinese students flooded social media with images of them posing as corpses. Others appeared to bin their graduation thesis in an act of despair. Unemployment rate of educated youth in China soared to 21.4% in June when the 11.6 million newly minted college students were poised to enter the job market. The Chinese real estate sector is grappling with staggering losses. Banks are facing sluggish growth and manufacturing activity has been shrinking for months. China's largest developer, Country Garden, posted a $6.7 billion loss for the first half of 2023. Country Garden's debt is reportedly above $150 billion. Another major Chinese developer, Evergrande Group, is also struggling. The company is reportedly laden with over $300 billion in debt, posting a total of $81 billion in losses for 2021 and 2022. Additionally, it reported a further loss of $4.53 billion for the first six months of this year. That's not all. Data of the National Bureau of Statistics indicates that the manufacturing sector in China contracted for the fifth consecutive month in August. World's largest bank by total assets, the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China Limited and the Bank of China both posted sluggish profit growth for the first half of 2023. And she needs to stoke all these jarred nerves. He did so with his BRIC summit domination in Johannesburg in August. Belt and Road Forum is his pet project, so October is his golden opportunity. The G20 summit in New Delhi under India's presidency does not exactly sit neatly in the scheme of things for Xi Jinping. Because G20 will raise uncomfortable questions like Chinese aggression against Taiwan and South China Sea. It's Bonhomie with Moscow at a time when the Western world is unitedly standing by Ukraine. I am disappointed, but I'm going to get the same. China has officially claimed that it attaches great importance to the G20 summit and hopes for better global cooperation resolution coming out of it. But it looks like that the rise of India and its global stature is making Xi Jinping uncomfortable. Bureau Report, India Today.